Before we dive into the list, here's something important to know. Every printer we're about to show you has been personally tested. Thoroughly. We didn't just rely on spec sheets or marketing claims. We spent time with each one, running different types of prints, using various materials, and checking how they actually perform in real-life beginner scenarios. Now, we also know that the best 3D printer really depends on you, what you plan to make, how much time you want to spend tweaking settings, and whether speed, color, or precision matters most. So this list is built to reflect that. It's not about what's best on paper, it's about what works best for different people, at different starting points. At number 5, Bamboo Lab A1 Combo. If your priority is simplicity, something that just works, the Bamboo Lab A1 Combo offers one of the most complete beginner experiences we've tested. What really stands out is how automatic everything is. The printer performs bed leveling, Z offset tuning, flow calibration, and even first layer testing all by itself. During testing, it was one of the few machines that we could set up and start printing in under 15 minutes without any manual tweaking. It also features active flow rate compensation, which monitors and adjusts extrusion in real time. That's important for maintaining smooth surfaces, especially on complex shapes or multi-directional prints. With the AMS light system, you can print in up to four colors. It handles spool changes automatically, detects material type, and minimizes purge waste. In our tests, it worked without a hitch, even on layered color changes or gradient patterns. It's also very quiet, just 48 decibels, which is low enough to run in a living room or shared space. The clip-on nozzle design makes it easy to clean or swap out, and the slicer software, while a little advanced at first, is powerful once you get used to it. For beginners who want a printer that feels premium and polished from the start, this one makes a great entry point. At number 4, Flash Forge Adventurer. If you're looking for a clean, frustration-free experience that doesn't sacrifice speed, the Flash Forge Adventurer delivers. Right out of the box, it handled auto-leveling perfectly. You hit one button and the printer adjusts itself with no manual work needed. We tested this multiple times, and the calibration was accurate each time, even after moving the machine or changing beds. It prints up to 600 mm recess, and it stays stable thanks to its sturdy frame and dual-fan cooling system. Whether you're printing something functional or artistic, that stability means fewer errors and smoother surfaces. One of our favorite things was the quick swap nozzle system. You just push a tab and the nozzle pops out in three seconds. No screws, no tools. If you're switching between filament types or nozzle sizes, this makes life way easier. And since it heats up to 200 degrees in about 35 seconds, you're not waiting long to start your next job. The dual-sided build plate lets you choose between smooth or grippy surfaces depending on your material, and you can monitor your prints via the FlashMaker app. While the app could use some interface updates, it worked reliably in our tests. For beginners who want to hit the ground running, it's fast, efficient, and thoughtfully designed. At number 3, AnyCubic Cobra 3 Combo. If you're excited about multicolor printing, the AnyCubic Cobra 3 Combo is easily one of the most creative-friendly printers we've worked with. Out of the box, it supports up to four colors, with an upgrade on the way to allow up to eight. The prints we ran, logos, characters, even gradients, came out with sharp transitions and rich color depth, thanks to the AMS light system. But this isn't just a color gimmick. The intelligent filament station actively dehumidifies, keeps track of material type via RFID, and even handles automatic filament refills. It alerted us to a clog mid-print and paused the job cleanly, something even high-end machines struggle with. In terms of performance, it's no slouch either. It prints at 600 mm RS, and with built-in vibration compensation via G sensors, we saw clean results even on curved and vertical edges. 
It also supports Pantone Color Filament, which adds a layer of consistency and polish to color-sensitive projects. It doesn't come with an extra filament tray in the box, which you might want if you're running more colors, but aside from that, this is an ideal machine for beginners who want to bring personality and color into their prints right from day one. At number two, Elegoo Mars 5 Ultra. If your focus is detail, sharpness, and finish quality, especially for things like figurines or miniatures, the Elegoo Mars 5 Ultra is a fantastic entry point into resin printing. It has a 9K mono LCD screen that delivers stunning resolution. We printed several pieces with micro textures, hollow areas, and tiny overhangs, and the results were remarkably crisp. One major advantage is the tilt release mechanism, which helps prints separate from the build film smoothly. This not only protects the screen over time, but also gives you cleaner first layers. You can really see the difference when working with models that have delicate supports or narrow contact points. It also includes a smart AI camera that keeps an eye on every print. We purposely ran a failed print for testing, and the system alerted us quickly. Other features like resin level detection, bed auto leveling, and LCD screen protection sensors round out a very intelligent package. The Mars 5 Ultra also supports Wi-Fi cluster printing, so if you ever want to scale up, managing multiple printers becomes simple. There's no built-in heater, so winter printing may require a warm room, but for its size and price, the Mars 5 Ultra punches well above its weight. At number one, Creality K1C. At the top of our lineup, the Creality K1C combines speed, durability, smart features, and beginner accessibility in a way few others do. Right away, its 600 millimeters as print speed sets it apart, but it's the quality at that speed that really matters. Powered by a Core XY system, it maintains accuracy, sharp corners, and layer consistency even on large or complex models. What impressed us most was the clog-resistant direct drive extruder. It's designed with a spring and ball mechanism for added pressure, reducing jams and extrusion issues, even with flexible or carbon fiber filaments. The steel-tipped copper nozzle with titanium alloy gives it the resilience to print abrasive materials while keeping shape over time. Setup is incredibly smooth. The auto calibration system handled every layer of setup, from bed leveling to Z offset, and passed every alignment check we threw at it. The dual fan cooling system keeps layers crisp, and the built-in AI camera flagged errors early, pausing prints when things went off track. It also includes an activated carbon filter for odor reduction and a quiet mode at just 45 dB, making it usable even in a shared space. If you're serious about learning 3D printing and want a machine that's fast, versatile, and easy to trust, the K1C is a powerful place to begin. All right, so those are five beginner-friendly 3D printers we've personally tested and stand behind. Each one offers something a little different, whether you're after speed, detail, ease of use, or multicolor creativity, there's a solid option here, no matter where you're starting from. As always, the best choice depends on your needs. So take a moment to think about how you want to use your printer. And don't just go with what sounds fancy. Go with what fits your workflow. If this helped, give the video a like and subscribe for more honest, hands-on reviews. We've got more coming soon. And if you've got questions or want help choosing the right one, drop a comment below. I'm always happy to help out. Thanks for watching and happy printing.